Oh, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. So, starting my morning off in West Memphis because I didn't have to go to Richmond yesterday. That means I made it to Memphis on Tuesday, which is cool because that means I'm a good couple hours ahead. Oh, so I should be able to make it to Spiceland at a decent time. Now I'm just kind of setting my GPS up for the day. setting this up real fast so that it's already done for the day. Man, I love this GPS because it's got that magnet mount so I can just pull it on and off and I'm going to unplug it. But it's $600 this day. Oh. Oh. oh, I hate when my brain wakes me up earlier than I planned. I was planning on trying to sleep till about now, but my brain decided that, hey, you're going to wake up two hours before you planned, because that's when you normally wake up. And then Mother Nature calls, so there's no going back to sleep. Pop tart chubby. Go on the bright side. I woke up in time to see uh, James is live, so. I have to see a little bit of that. Yeah, I think I'm going to start my day here in a minute. And hope my trailer's ready. Until I got back to Hino, which is literally like five miles down the road from here, East Bat pick up my trailer and start heading north because last night when I got there which was a day early my pickup wasn't ready so I just bobtailed over here to the pilot next to the loves and parked I gotta say, the parking at this one's better than the one on the other side of the interstate. But that one's hot bar is better. And I'm dropping food. I don't have a hole in my mouth. nice not being in a rush this week. It really is. It's Monday when my dispatcher called and said, hey, you don't got to go to Richmond. Go ahead and head towards Fairbury. And it was like, really? 
Well, I'm glad I'm not already waiting for my all my reset waiting for my, the morning because I still would have had to made that four hour drive which would have put me not getting here last night so I got here with two hours of spare which was cool And I actually got to take my 30 minute yesterday. And, uh, I think I was still recovering from being sick last weekend with that head cold. I had to take a nap. I'm just so tired. Just like, it felt like the miles were crawling by. But, took my 20 minute power nap. That was good to go. Okay. Take my call at for now. Still thinking about today's random knowledge. Well, right, my correction. Useless knowledge. I got a couple floating around, but I'm, I'm trying to remember everything I remember about it. Everything I know about it. Because I'm trying to keep it obscure. I think that's the right word I'm using. Because I, I, I could I could take the easy route and pick all the all the simple ones that aren't really that far out there in the sense of the randomness. But eh, I'll probably do a into a week where I'm just doing all the easy ones. The ones that people probably more likely have already heard or have an inkling of already. I'm making my day start. I'll talk to y'all later. Let the fun continue. So. Almost back. Teeny Indianapolis. Just a little ways from the pilot I stop at over in Spiceland. And the dispatcher calls and said, hey, you don't got to go to Richmond in the morning. Go ahead and go back to Fairbury like you did Tuesday. And I'm like, well, I'm glad you told me this now. Or, at least in my head, I'm like, now you tell me. Which I'm like, hey, she told me before I got to Spiceland, so that's all that really matters, because I am literally an hour south on 70 from where I stopped at Monday in Oakwood on 74. So, I get to go through the woods grandma's house to get back to Oakwood and spend the night there and get up and do this all again tomorrow lots of fun lots lots of fun but like I said hey, I'm glad you told me now and not when I'm in Indianapolis where I would have had to turn around and drive like an hour and a half, two hours back this direction so that I'm only an hour and a half from Fairbury opposed to anywhere else. Which, it would have been really nice if she would have let me know when I stopped for fuel in Effingham about an hour ago. 
because I would have just stayed at Effingham and been two hours from Fairbury. But hey, this will put me at stopping at about six, which it's fine with me. I can drive for an hour through the woods and go stop. see parts of Illinois I've not seen. Well, I know I'm going to get to see parts of Illinois I've not seen, but like, interesting things. Because right now I'm on Highway 1 going from 70 to 74. And I'm glad I'm basically empty. Because that means I don't got to worry about any weight spots really. And according to my Garmin, there isn't any no truck zones or weight restriction spots or height restriction spots on this route. Which, yeah, I'm leaving a lot up to my GPS, but I've seen four trucks head this way. So I'm just following four trucks that head this way. Uh, no, I'm still trying to think of a useless fact. Because I know so many, but really when I start thinking about which ones to use, I just go blank. I was like this in high school too, in middle school. Like during tests, like I'm brain dead, like blank. Like you put me on the spot and my brain just goes blank. Any other time, I'm just, I know everything, I know it all. I know, I know what I'm talking about, I, I know the subject for the most part, like I'm good. For other people that are like, that I've talked to, like, they're bombarded by info, and I go blank. Like, I mean, like, I'm sitting there, and, like, it's just, like, flatline. Which I've been told is unusual. The fact that, like, I can go blank. But I'm also one of those people that, like, I can visualize things in my head, and I talk to myself in my head, and I've heard that that's, that's unusual too, that I have like an internal monologue. Like I actually think in my head. There we go, they just popped in my head. Okay, useless knowledge, all right? If you've gotten this far in the film and you've been waiting for it, here it is. You technically have three voices. I, read, I remember hearing this or reading this somewhere I can't remember where exactly, but I'll try to find something to, to kind of give it more than just a my opinion kind of thing. You have three voices. You have the voice you talk with. You have the voice you talk to yourself with. And then you have the voice that you hear on recordings. And they're all different. Like, if you ever heard yourself in a recording, you don't sound the way you think you sound. And your voice in your head doesn't really have a sound, it's just kind of like words appearing in your head. I know it's good. Come on. So technically, you have three voices. good one, but hey, useless knowledge is useless knowledge. It's not all juicy and sunshines and rainbows. But you know what? I'll throw another one in here. Let's see what I can. Let's, let's, let's make it a two for since that one's not very interesting.
right, so truck stop showers are great. I even gave the he even gave the fluffers one. He got a shower too. So this has been an eventful week. It's kind of like the uh, reprieve easy uh, week that I needed last week. Sorry, I'm trying to situate things. Hang on. Alright, I'm back. So, yes. Pilot showers for the win. All the showers you want for all the fuel you can get. But yeah, this is definitely going to be the week that gave me that little extra downtime to recover. <sighs> so I can't think of that extra fact I was going to give y'all. So I'm going to think of two tonight and I'll put on two tomorrow. Yeah. This is going to be my night. Talk to y'all later. I know I didn't say much, but bye.